Hey guys, welcome back to All Things Knives, and today we got a little unboxing. Treat for you guys, we're going to see how the shootout does at unboxing a knife. Alright. Slicing better than probably any other Tonto I've ever had. <laughs> it away off in the corner all right let's see what we got all wrapped up this is from dlt so shout out to them all right that's just some personal information all right show that off to the side so yeah we got ourselves oh sorry for the bumping guys I'm at a different place than normal i'm at my mom's house so her table's one of those big round ones, so it always shakes. Okay, so we got a Salt 2 Greens, made in Japan. Look at that. That is... Hmm. Let's see. All right. So... Oh, that is super worn cliffy. That is interesting. That's going to be a really good package opener, I think. And definitely taller than the Delica. Delica the, the frame is actually rather similar to the Delica, but no, no steel liners. So this is actually super lightweight. Everything's coated. This one's in LC200N. You guys can see that? LC200N. Get you guys a look at that blade shape. The handle. Kind of makes me want a Delica, to be honest. But I would I would want one in anything besides VG10. I mean, VG10 is a good user steel, but I'd want something a little more exciting. It's got a good edge on there from the factory. I don't think this is on washers. I think this is like the Native 5, where there's no washers in it. So I think it's going to be a little bit of me breaking this in. This is a super lightweight knife. Super humpbackish. I think what this is, is this is slightly thinner than a Delica. To make up for no liners. But it's very similar. And it's very sh tall. Very tall. Let's see how thin that looks behind the edge. I mean, that, that's got to be 15 thousandths behind the edge. Because this is... Uh, maybe... Maybe a little thicker than that. I don't have my calipers because we're, we're uh, me and my wife, we're pet sitting for my mom, so. I do like the coating, though. That's definitely going to be very rust resistant. I'm excited to see how this steel does. Erica uh, from Not Your Average EDC, uh, she's doing a Carrion LC200N, and it looks very, very good. Like, from what she's saying, it sounds like a very, very good working steel. And I can always throw this in my fishing kit, you know, because it's never going to rust or even just be a fun steel to uh, play around with. I hope they continue to use it on their Seki City stuff because plenty of people love LC200N, you know. So I hope they continue to use it on their on their uh, salt line and then keep Magna Cut to the Golden Colorado line. So, yeah, this guy is very thin, too. About 0.9 blade stock. The tip is, I think, thicker than a Delica tip, though. You guys see that? Let's see how good this factory edge is. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is tissue paper, so... Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, I shouldn't have bought this because now I kind of want a Delica too. I used to have one and I actually ended up selling all of them. You know what? If I do get a Delica, it'll be K390 and it'll be a test knife for K390. Although my I have my Andela that I got reground, so that's that's the carry knife probably for K390. So and an Endura. So hmm, this makes me want an uh, Delica so bad, but I like this. This is going to be perfect for what I do, which is I open a lot of boxes and I occasionally go fishing. 
So if I ended up if I end up catching anything and keeping it, you know, catching and keeping it, then uh, this guy will actually come pretty in handy, and it's not going to rust. It might actually be interesting to see how this thing does uh, kitchen prep wise. Like, how does it do food prep EDC? Because if you do a lot of food prep, this would actually be really good food prep EDC. And also, if you lose your knife a lot, you're not losing that toxic green. I mean, that just screams. I mean, just about any color you put it on, it's going to pop out. So let me know what you guys think of this guy. Uh, you de definitely going to take a while to kind of break that in. See that? I had to whip it pretty hard to get it down using the boy dent there. But uh, let me know what you guys' thoughts are. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. It helps out the channel. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay sharp.